friends this is dr shruti parekh from advanced hospitals and the bar today we are going to talk about the surgery called hto that is high tibial osteotomy we'll know in detail uh, with dr prathmesh jain uh, what is hto what is the when is it needed what is the recovery rate etc so uh, dr tell us about what is basically what is hto and uh, when is it needed hto is basically a knee preservation surgery which is advantageous in preventing total knee replacement surgery now this surgery can be done in young patients who are suffering from arthritis and because of the arthritis and degeneration their legs becomes bent so when the leg become bent the weight bearing axis of the knee changes and the weight is borne directly on the medial compartment that leads to medial compartment damage that is called as a medial compartment osteoarthritis now these patients will walk walk with a limp they will have a wedling sort of a gait they will have pain they will have instability and these patients if they are young if we can correct the alignment of the knee if we correct the axis of the knee if we can make the knee straight then the problem of arthritis will be saved and the patient will have a long term life of the knee and the need of the re replacement surgery will be delayed so you will have some extra years with your natural knee so sir besides osteoarthritis and varus what are the other indications that may need hto so if you have any patient who is having an arthritis after any fracture or deformities in children then also these osteotomy surgeries will be helpful so what about torn meniscus if the meniscus is torn what we need to do is we need to repair the meniscus meniscus repair will gives the purpose of the shock absorbing capacity so if you have a torn meniscus the shock absorbing capacity of the meniscus goes away and that leads to starting of osteoarthritis so mostly meniscus tear patients will respond very well to meniscus repairs but what happens is many patients come to us very late and when those patient come to us very late then in those cases arthritis starts and when the arthritis starts we need to do something to correct the alignment and this is called as a high tibial osteotomy so in those cases in which the meniscus tears come to us late these patients are treated with arthritis patients are treated with meniscus repair along with a high tibial osteotomy so both surgeries are done both surgeries are equally important and both surgeries need to be done in those patients so it is kind of a middle way between meniscus repair and knee replacement yes it is basically for relatively young patients 40 to 60 year of age who are suffering from osteoarthritis or knee damage right so that preserves the knee it preserves the knee and it gives the increase the longevity of the knee so the need or the timing of the knee replacement surgery is delayed So, so we talked about the specific age, but uh, is there is it there? It happens in males or females? It is more common in females, but it it happens in both males and females. So it it, it can be seen. We do it in both uh, gents and ladies. Yes. So, what are the basic investigations that are needed? We need three investigations. That is important. One is an X-ray, the second is a scanogram, and the third is MRI. you need all the three investigation to be sure that whether in your particular case an osteotomy surgery or a high tibial osteotomy will work or not so medial compartment overloading the increase in varus more than 5 degrees and specific changes on mri we can be sure that we can help you with a high tibial osteotomy so what is the recovery rate so it's very good the patient will be able to do almost everything which includes walking with injuries running sporting activities so the effectively the patient will be able to do much more activity as compared to a total knee replacement so what can be the hospital stay and when it's is the patient allowed to it's about 3 days walk? and about 1 and 1/2 month the patient needs to he can walk with a walker putting weight on the knee okay So, uh, how much physiotherapy is needed after that? Approximately a month time is sufficient. Okay. And so, what is the life of HTO? How much can it delay the knee? Replacement? So, normally, if you see, if we don't do the HTO, the knee replacement may be needed in two years time, and if we do it, it may be delayed for about ten years of time. So, approximately five times gain in the natural life of the knee we can gain along with doing an HTO surgery.
this? So this is basically an innovative implant. This is a new technology to do a high tibialostomy. This is a French new clip design anatomical plate. This is available in three variants. This is much better than the conventional HTO plates. The conventional plates are a single type of plate for both right and side, right and left. So these are side specific. These are different for right and different for left. So side specific, anatomical, better orientation of the screws that you can see. The plate is very low profile. The screws are locking. And importantly, the central screw, if you can see here and here, is variable angle. So you can change the angle. Now this plate is the standard plate. This is the three hole plate which we use for most of the cases. There is a four hole plate also available for major corrections. Now this plate is very unique. This is a ACL with HTO plate. This plate has a option of variable angle in the central screw. So if you have a tunnel for the ACL, you can bypass that tunnel. You can just change the angle of the HTO bypassing the angle of the HTO. So that is a very, very useful plate that we use in some cases in which we have to do high tibial ostotomy along with a ACL or a PCL reconstruction surgery. So for those, this plate is very, very useful. So what is the difference between the anatomical plate used and the new? So now as compared to the conventional plate, this is a low profile plate, locking plate, side specific, better design and you can do it compatibility with the ACL, PCL and meniscus root reconstructions also. So it's a very much useful plate as compared to the conventional designs of high tibial osteotomy plates. Mm -hmm. So how much does it normally cost this kind so of So this plate is little bit more expensive as compared to the conventional plate. So this plate comes around 80 to 90,000 cost and hence this plate is relatively costlier as compared to a conventional STU surgery, but then as I have told you the benefits, so that these benefits are usually very high. It's not that we cannot do a conventional HTO plating, but then if we, we have an option, this plate is always better if you don't have an economic constraint. Okay. So any other uh, extra information you would like to guide us with? So the most important thing is I think the choice of, sele of the patient, selection of the right patient. If the patient is selected well in the right age group with the right amount of problem, then high tibial osteotomy can do wonders and can preserve the life of your knee, increase the life of the knee and avoid the need of replacement for many years. So in selected group of patients, this is an excellent surgery which can be performed. So friends, if you have any problems regarding any concerns regarding your knee joint or shoulder joint problems, you can contact us. You can get your MRI done and you can contact us on the given numbers. Thank you for watching the video.